What's gravy, baby? It's your boy Trey. Follow the Trey where I never leave you astray. And I got a quick video for y'all today. And what that is, is going over the ending of season one ranked mode and then the beginning of season two of the rank mode we'll go over the re rewards you're expecting or should get when it comes to season one now that now that that's wrapped up and we'll talk about the season two and those players and how they look as well and then we'll go over the hispanic heritage promo they just released those players and welcome packs so we'll talk about that a little bit so make sure i like the video subscribe comment do all that stuff for the boys share appreciate y'all for stopping through man so the explanation for the season one rewards when it comes to the actual ranked head-to-head -head play play mode i'm going to pop that up real quickly for y'all so you see the ed reed the cow pits and the armani all right those are the three players that people are grinding for people that you know they grinded for when it comes to the season one head-to-head -head ranked so this is how it's supposed to lay out this is the explanation that i was given from ea um and guys at ea and you know from other guys that i've been hearing stuff from is that you're supposed to get the player that you reached at that tier level and you're supposed to get the player the tier level before so let me explain a little bit real quickly if you got top 100 you're supposed to get ed reed and cal pitts okay you're not supposed to get the armani that's what i've been hearing so let's go down if you got champion you're supposed to get cow pits and armani all right and if you got a hero you're only supposed to get armani and that's pretty much what i've been hearing yes it's stupid hey if you got top 100 you should get the champion and the hero you should be able to get all three max players i agree i completely agree because if you've grinded all the way to top 100 and you've passed hero you've passed champion you should get all of those rewards along with the ed reed so we're going to stay tuned and find out if ea is going to change that what they're going to do you know this year has been very terrible when it comes to releases and coming out with all these glitches and giving stuff their right rewards at the right time it's been one of the worst years when in terms of that in terms of giving us what the hell we supposed to get when we supposed to get it how we supposed to get it it's been booty it's been the s show a shit show you hear me you know what i'm saying so that's just honest that's just honest to god what's going on bro all right so i will keep you updated on those rewards and give y'all more updates on what you guys should receive if ea updates anything it says anything i will let you know but as of right now all i've heard is you're supposed to get the tier that you own and the tier below that's what i've been hearing all right yes if you got top 100 you should get all three of them you know what i'm saying so i will figure out and i'll keep you guys updated on that as far as season two you see we got Jalen wyatt daniel hunter and randall cunningham this right here if you guys don't know if you press x at that screen when you're right here looking at this and you go to season rewards it'll show you the actual ranked points you're supposed to hit whenever you actually go through here all right so it takes to get champion 2900 all right to get top 100 3200 and it's going to increase trust me it's going to increase because the more players reach top 100 the more people reach champion the higher is going to increase because more people are taking up those slots i think it really only matters for top 100 because top 100 right now was almost at 5,000 points so people are going to just keep grinding keep grinding get more points get more points get more points over the 3200 where you might have to end off with 47 48 5 000 points just to be top 100 all right so make sure you guys are aware of that point system there and you may ask trey what did you do and what did you get at you know ranked head to head season one what did you get bruh i only got goddamn gold too dog i'm gonna be honest with you i didn't play as much as i should have i was steady trying to grow my team look at all the new players i got gronkowski a chain saquon tyler newbin adunzi um turn arnold the new Jaden daniels cooper deshaun fully maxed out tyron smith maxed out 
know what I'm saying? Charles Haley, Night Train Girl, Do Your Girl in the Dark Lane, you know what I'm saying? Drake London, Shantae, like, I got all these new players, you know, Marvin Harrison, you know what I'm saying? Mean Joe Green, LT down here, like, um, Travis Frederick, like, I've been upgrading my team slowly but surely until I can get to the point to where I was comfortable competing. And that's what took me so goddamn long actually to get onto the ranked scene so i only play like 13 to 15 games and who i got i got this 84 overall armani i reached gold tier two and this is who i got you know what i'm saying he's 84 speed 83 excel both of those numbers straight up ass straight up trash he can't play on my team but the 86 zone ain't bad so if this dude was like an 86 speed with an 86 zone it would have probably been like damn okay he kind of a budget beast but that speed is too slow like i said i couldn't play or i could have played with a worse team if i decided to go ahead and jump in there i probably would have won way more games than i did but still I, i'm just not comfortable playing in some of these modes like ranked unless my team is up to par which it is now so this season two we will do way better than an 84 overall i'm going to reach champion at the least at the very least this guy right here quick sells for 15k coins we're probably just going to take that and move on about our goddamn day all right so that's the rewards that i received let me know if you guys received your rewards have you got your champion rewards and the card below it have you guys gotten your top 100 card and the car and the card below it or have you only received one card which is what i've you know heard most people have received is just one card let me know in the comment section so now what i'll show you guys is in the catalog here this is where you can actually come and look at randall cunningham the neil hunter and the jalen hyatt is it jalen wyatt jalen hyatt jalen wyatt bro whatever so i'm gonna show you guys the way um you know these cars pretty much go plan out like are they good are they trash are they ass should we pass like like what's really going on with the season two rewards of the head-to-head -head ring man so randall cunningham i mean I, I got nothing to say this car looks like a goddamn monster the only thing we don't know is how good is this damn release that's the only thing that we don't know y'all is how good is this dude's release right here we really don't know but we do know he is a 91 speed that's fast okay he gets any team kill so you can get this man up to a 92 speed 91 throw power all right all the other throwing attributes are 88 and above except for play action but who gives a damn about that 92 throwing a run too so i'm i'm assuming that dude, this dude's gonna get gunslinger he's probably gonna get some type of um rolling out ability as well so you know they have um what's the what's the damn abilities that they use when dudes can roll out the pocket and stuff like that like does his card show it already like do they have it yep there it is dashing dead eye is one of them he gets that for two right here conductor for one right there um you see over here you know fearless you know what i'm saying it looks like he may end up getting fearless hot route master set feet leap so this card is going to pretty much get all the abilities yes they're expensive as hell too though they are expensive as hell but he's going to be the first quarterback card most likely to be able to get this many abilities all right so this card right here definitely a w if you reach top 100 you know you probably going to be able to rock out his quarterback card for a long ass time all right and not have to worry about another quarterback for a good minute so that's if you reach top 100 if you reach champion you get this daniel hunter right here the speed is good the block shedding is good the finesse move is good the power moves a little trash 65 263 so he has great size all right the only thing about his card is you can't use room number one you can't use room because his change of direction is a 67 he's gonna he's not gonna move good for a user his catching is a 50 you don't want that right there bro all right so the only choice you have is to put this dude on the defensive line all right at 6'5, 263 you probably can put this dude at end not on the edge of the defense but you probably can actually put him on end like right end or the left end of the defense all right i mean you could also put him in 
on the edge of your defense as well the only thing is you ain't gonna be able to put this boy in zone coverage you can put him in zone coverage just to have him as an extra body out there but don't expect him to do nothing crazy because he got a goddamn 60 zone you heard me so if you put him in a zone don't expect him to play a good zone if a dude throw the ball right at him all right he might swat to do something to it but don't expect him to go crazy all right i i, I just want to make sure don't don't be upset if you put him in zone and he don't play his own don't be mad bro you see that you see that he got damn number right there and then jalen hyatt right here you can see with his card 92 speed dog 93 speed with the theme team so this car right here throw him in the slot have fun dog like if you if you want to have him on the edge you probably can work out with that he should fry most of his dudes for deep but you know me for me he would probably most likely be in the slot using that speed round dudes up you know attacking the middle of the field and all types of things like that so this card right here is also a w so this card in the top 100 randall cunningham those are the cards that i'm really like okay the neil hunter is a little bit eh, I'm saying i don't know about that dude right there man you know what i'm saying baby i don't, I don't know about um the neil hunter so we go find out you know if they're giving everybody all the cards if you reach top 100 i believe let's just say you reach top 100 in season two you should be able to get running cunningham the neil hunter and Jalen hyatt you should be able to get all three bro but we go find out what they do with the with the rewards and how they send them out to players if they're going to end up doing that or if you're only going to be able to get the tier that you own in the tier below so we go figure that out and see what the hell ea does because if you get randall cunningham and daniel hunter and miss out on Jalen hyatt it's like damn that's messed up bro because i surpassed Jalen hyatt so i should get him too you see what i'm saying so we go figure out about that and see what's going on and i'll keep y'all updated like i said beyond that so the promo that's out right now the hispanic heritage promo all right so this promo they come out with it every single year so we're gonna go through it real quickly these are the players that you get it's a punter right here it's a wide receiver right here left tackle anthony munoz uh running back right here and then a right outside linebacker right here so i'm showing you this because you guys need to know this is going to be a free 88 overall absolutely free 88 overall that you're going to get from doing challenges and objectives you heard me i got it so i'm not really going to go over all these cards i'm gonna just tell you this dude right here too goddamn small he's not gonna be fast enough this dude he's a punter i mean if you want to have a punter for to help you overall and stuff like that fine go ahead go at it running back his numbers are pretty decent he's an 88 speed if you actually get him on a theme team for the what's the team here the uh the commanders you can get this dude to an 89 speed not bad this dude right here the bad thing about him is he has terrible finesse move terrible power move you can't use him because he's 5'11 that's too damn short so it's like what the hell am i gonna do with the goddamn dude what i'm gonna do with him bro what the hell am i gonna do with him you know what i'm saying like maybe have him blitzing down the middle in the in the um three four or in the nickel maybe double leg gap or something i don't know man and his zone ain't good neither so i don't know about this dude but this dude right here you know what you're getting this is the best bang for your buck because at a left tackle you know what you're getting bro you're getting a good left tackle in his numbers all his main numbers are going to be 80 um the high 80s and above all his blocking stats pretty much gonna be high 80s and above like 87 86 and above for all of his run blocking pass blocking and uh, impact blocking and stuff like that so you might as well go ahead and know you're gonna have a decent left tackle for a good little minute at 66 280 he's a big boy with decent speed strength acceleration pass blocking run blocking all that stuff's gonna be pretty good when he's maxed out of the 88 right here so i recommend going at the anthony munoz you hear me anthony munoz munoz you know what i'm saying go after him he's the best bang for your buck all right and then i give an honorable mention to this guy but there's so many running backs i'm like bro like come on man it's, it's a lot of running backs that's gonna be able to do what he do if not better all right so those are the players that's out that came out you should have gotten all those players in a welcome pack so the question is trey how do we get the free 88 from that 
good question so what you're gonna come and do is over here with the challenges you will see the hispanic heritage month challenges right here so what you're going to see is on the tier levels you're going to get upgrade tokens all the way down to 120 stars and tier 10 there's the last token so there's a total of 10 tokens for doing the cha challenges all right so remember that there's 10 tokens for running through the challenges got it all right so knock out the challenges get them done they're not complicated yes it's a decent amount of them but hey we're talking about a free 88 overall that can help out your team all right beyond that what you also guys have to pay attention to or you guys have to pay attention to is if you come over here to season two there should be a slot that has hispanic heritage on here i don't know why they didn't give it its own um its own separate field pass but they didn't it's right here under programs so you come over here at hispanic heritage dailies you know this right here just doing daily objectives all right so with two hispanic hispanic heritage players in your lineup all right this is dailies all right 250 passing yards with two of them in your lineup and guess what you get another upgrade token this will be going on i believe for like a week and a half or two weeks so every day this should upgrade right here and there's even more tokens that you're going to be able to get all right let's keep on going you see right here all of these objectives here you see record point yards with um rigoberto sanchez all right so if he's in your lineup you get the punt yards with him all right cool this right here the rodriguez guy record um you know the running back 750 rushing yards and with him in your lineup that's coins and then sacks for michael rodriguez that's 10 sacks with him in your lineup i do have him in my lineup receiving yards with braxton burrios a thousand receiving yards with him in your lineup and then the touchdowns with anthony munoz 20 touchdowns all right so i'm gonna show you guys how i got them in my lineup and you know basically what's gonna happen is complete three of five of these weekly objectives you get two hispanic heritage tokens all right so there's two more tokens for this week so make sure you guys understand it in tracks in any game mode so you can go in challenges and just grind these out all right you don't got to do all of them you just got to do three or five to get these right here so you can just go into a challenge repeat it over and over and over and get 20 touchdowns and then guess what bam you got this one completed and then with the sacks go into a challenge just keep getting sacks keep getting sacks replay the challenge keep getting sacks until you get 10 that's complete and then rushing yards find you a good challenge that you can get rushing yards and just run the goddamn ball just run it just run it just run it just run it or with the passing ones find a good passing challenge and just keep repeating it over and over till you reach a thousand passing yards all right so that's how that's going to correlate and you don't have to get them with the actual player they just have to be in your lineup got it good so right now you know that's two tokens right here that you can get and i saw in the challenges there's 10 so that's a total of 12 and these are going to be coming out every week okay i mean every day for a week so i'm guessing what you can maybe set us another seven challenges so 12 plus 7 that's what 18 um that's 19 so i mean we're speculating this week you'll be able to get 19 guaranteed tokens okay so keep that in mind 19 guaranteed tokens when it comes to the hispanic heritage promo all right you got it good so you could do the math and see how many of those that you can level up right now with 11 you know i guess you know i might as well go ahead and show y'all right quick but let me go ahead and show y'all fam let me go ahead and show y'all fam so hispanic heritage where the hell is that all right so i'm okay they got sets right here now oh no these are the items i'm tripping these are the items okay cool so anthony munoz for example we'll go to his upgrades and see how many it takes one two three four five six seven eight it's eight all right it's it's, it's hold up hold up hold up hold up one two three four five six seven eight all right so let's get it straight you get one for free so we already got one for free you know what i'm saying so theoretically 
for your first one you'll only need one two three four five six seven you need seven to upgrade your first one so you can indeed upgrade one full player right now if you go through all your challenges and then you do those weekly challenges and get those times two you know what i'm saying you can for sure for sure get one fully maxed out right now and then you probably can get another one close to maxing out so if you wanted a second one you probably can get one of these other guys about halfway um to max if you do everything right now do the weekly right now do the daily one and do the challenges you should be able to get at least one knocked out right now as an 88 overall all right so that's pretty much it man i just want to show y'all the spending heritage breakdown the full guy for that and also let y'all know about the season one and season two head-to-head -head ranked mode let you guys know about the rewards and stuff like that so leave down low in the comment section if you guys have any questions concerns comments anything like that have you gotten your rewards have you not gotten your rewards you know what i'm saying who have you got who you have you not got what you think about the hispanic heritage promo all that good stuff man but hey until next time it's been your boy y'all stay blessed bees and stay breezy mine